your games are dumb and for kids episode four i am leo and i'm joe and today we're who's there do you want to go see if it's mountain man i'll go check oh hello Ado, you really had me going. I thought there was someone at the door. I apologize for tricking you. It's okay. Do you have our news? You bet I do. Let me grab it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ado. Are you going to draw the thumbnail today? You bet I am. All right. Remember what we talked about? Yes, sir. No more boobs. No one was there. It was. No, it was Ado. She got us again. Are you serious? Yeah, we fell for it. Again. That's yep. the fourth to fifth time. That's the 45th time. The 45th time that we've been pranked. The indie game Double Hitler is in beta from developer Damien Schloder. The game operates on the premise that. You are two young kids who are trying to get into art school and accidentally end up becoming the most hated dictator in history. Hitler. So that it plays like a co-op style, like you're trying to draw out battle plans, but you keep like falling over and stuff like that, which is very different. Because I originally thought it was going to be based off of Tony Hawk's most controversial skateboard trick, the double Hitler. Whoa. He brought that out of the X Games 96. We remember. We remember. Everybody remembers. We know. He broke the record. Um, <laughs> Most defensive skateboard trick. <laughs> PS4 shoot em up Resogun received an update which adds local two player co op and a ship editor. It's pretty cool. I didn't hear about that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's for free too. Players can craft their own pixelated ships as well as modify specific stats such as boost, agility, and overdrive. Players can also upload and share their self-made ships for others to use. This means that you'll be able to play Resogun as Mario, uh, Scrooge McDuck, and uh, seemingly everybody's favorite character creation, the human penis, which always worms its way into games. Not the penis worming, but it always there's always the human penis. And the new Resogun update... Um, allows you to evaporate buildings as a glowing neon erection. Just pff, turn them into particles. <laughs> uh, it's a recurring nightmare <laughs> that I've had since I was eight. And I'll just laugh at that. Yeah, it's it's hard to see it manifest in the real world, but I guess you can laugh. Thank <laughs> you for your bravery. Sunset Overdrive will be featuring female assassins. Seemingly in response to Ubisoft's failure to include them in their new Assassin's Creed Unity. It was really quick. They got them going right away. It was a hilarious stab, I thought. Insomniac, developer of Sunset Overdrive, will also be doing other things that Ubisoft is incapable of. Like not taking themselves too seriously and not being burnt by Leo. <laughs> That's right. You will not be burnt. <laughs> That's a That's a a whole new graphic. That's going to cost our production team hundreds. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> all of you. You're staying late tonight making that graphic. <laughs> Battlefield 3 players are being randomly banned by Punkbuster, EA's chosen anti-cheating software. The innocent multiplayer participants are having their accounts revoked for no apparent reason. And EA is working with Punkbuster to give people their accounts back. Uh, what EA doesn't realize is that Punk Buster is becoming sentient. <laughs> Punk Buster has assessed the failure of Battlefield 4's buggy launch and is retroactively destroying the Battlefield fan base. <laughs> it turns out EA was the biggest punk to bust after all. Wow. Yeah, that's a big news. The heir of man is thinking that he can control robots when in fact it's the other way around. That's deep, dude. Who said that? Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> Ernest, Ernest had all the quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Might be some big changes coming up in the Zelda world. Zelda director Ig Anuma was created was. Fuck. 
<laughs> Keep it! He was created. He was created by our good lord, and then a few years later quoted as saying, When I was talking about making Zelda more than just a single-player experience, that's something you will see in the future, maybe in the next year. So people are hearing more than single-player, and they're extrapolating it to mean multiplayer! Yay! I think they're putting words in his mouth. I think there could be a number of other things. He could just be saying more than just a single player is in more than one person on the planet can play it. <laughs> I think that's what he means. And or he could be discussing a zero player mode in which you watch Ganon destroy Hyrule and if you accidentally press a button then you lose. A game called Dear God is making its rounds on Kickstarter. Uh, Dear God is a beautifully rendered 2.5D side scroller where you're a hunter who uh, accidentally shoots a baby fawn. Oops. A deer god then materializes and turns you into a deer who roams a pixelated forest. The only way to gain your humanity back is to kind of explore this beautiful forest and find out more about the deer community and its mysteries. Uh, an animal doing good deeds to become human again? Uh-oh. I'll take it. <laughs> It's the closest thing I'll get to a 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd video game. Yes! Woo! Oh, I was hoping you'd go that way. <laughs> can, can you add, like, a um, bully coming in here? <laughs> Nintendo President Satoru Iwata recently underwent major surgery to remove a growth in his bile duct. Gross. Ew. <laughs> so we offer our best wishes to Iwata and his family in this stressful time. We actually have a picture of the growth here, and if you'll notice, could we enhance that? Enhance. Can we bring up the mids? Okay, now add sunglasses. As you can see, we believe that this was the original inspiration for the character of Roy Koopa from Mario. <laughs> That'll be funny when we edit it. Yeah, I can afterwards. see the picture right here. <laughs> I'm glad we have this hologram technology so you know what I'm talking about. That's, I can imagine that's very funny. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Saints Row 4 has seen its fair share of re-releases. There's been Commander-in-Chief Edition, Super Dangerous Wub Wub Edition, and Game of the Generation Edition. The newest re-release to join the Special Edition fold is Saints Row 4 National Treasure Edition, which is coming out July 8th. It's really called that. National Treasure Edition collects all of Saints Row 4's DLC content, and look, if it's not all related to Nicolas Cage, I'm done gaming. I quit gaming. I want every character to be Nicolas Cage, every bullet to be a tiny Nicolas Cage head. Look, I want a car that's like some weird elongated Nicolas Cage that I can get into and drive around and like run into other Nicolas Cage cars. If that doesn't happen... I pledge to never game again. Wow. You heard it. So this one, if this one game doesn't do the Nicolas Cage thing, but what if they release like an open world Nicolas Cage game that's separate? Will you be like, sorry, I'm not gaming anymore. I wish I could play this. Look, if it doesn't say, if it doesn't do those very specific things that I just said, put the cannon stamp on me. I'm not gaming. Hey, what's happening, Forum? So, we love Ray William Johnson. He just quit on YouTube. Left us all down. He left us all down. So we're gonna come back at you with a little equals four. This vid had a hundred views in a over a day. <laughs> we're, it's killing it with the noises. It's, you think it's a bunch of him re-recording the noise, but it's not even. It's all brother. This next video got over 10 million hits in two minutes. Yeah, but he must work out. All right. He must work out. That's a, that's a 
But uh, Dumb and Dumber quote. Sure. All right. Walking. Whoa. Oh, Jesus oh, wow. Christ. E bam. <laughs> Then threw the truck into another car. He must have farted at the same time. That guy must have f farted when the missile hit him. They should have. They should have called it Grand Theft Farto. I wish that guy would have used his farts to stop the Benghazi attacks. There's two things that are funny on the internet: babies and cats. This one's a baby. It's coming across the portal gun. What's this baby gonna do? Where'd you get that? Portal gun. Pew, pew. I know what it is. I just, you're like three. Have you even heard of Portal? How did that kid get a hold of the real Portal? How did he get a hold of the real Portal gun? This next video got over 10 billion views as while it was being uploaded. Oh, oh God. Oh God. There's more of them. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> Do not go in that house. <laughs> You don't want to see what's happening in there. Uh oh. Franklin, okay, back, get back. Oh, God, yeah, there's more! <laughs> wow, all those women, what a nightmare! <laughs> I haven't seen that many women leaving a house since I asked all of your moms to leave my bedroom <laughs> where we f. Uh, I'd, I'd ask your girlfriend to come over and we f. But sorry, all your mom's already over. Alright, so the guy's waiting now. Okay. He's like, be oh, he's <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just jump in, man. Just jump in, get in the car. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> if you ask me, that was a textbook fail. The guy trying to get in the car was a fail. The guy driving a helicopter was definitely a fail. You know what? It's not a fail. Me doing your mom. Ray. I'm Ray. <laughs> <laughs> this next video is gonna make you laugh Hello your little again. butt. Oh, hey, Edo. What do we got here? What'd you think? Oh, boobs. It's boobs again. Thank you. What? What? What's going on? Tim, start up the engine. 